put the equation x plus 5y is equal to 1 in slope intercept form and find the y intercept. You already know what the slope intercept uh, formula look like. So if I write it down again here, that would be y is equal to mx plus b. What would uh, be the, the first? The first step would be moving x to the other side. Okay. So in other words, you want to so solve for one y then, right? Right. Isolating y. So very good. There is a solve for y. Now this would be a very good technique to uh, to find the slope if the equation is given to us in any other form like this. Okay, if it's not already in the form of y is equal to mx plus b, because if if you have the equation in this form, we can look at the coefficient of x and say, okay, this is my slope. If it's not, like in this case. If I simply solve for y, then I can find the slope of that line very quickly. In other words, uh, I need to solve for y. I have to subtract x from both sides of the equation. So I get minus x plus 1. So if you want to show the steps, it would look like I'm subtracting x from both sides of the equation. That's what we're really doing. Okay. So I would get 5y is equal to minus x plus 1. Uh, let's see. Uh, Amy, can you tell me uh, how would you solve for y now? No, you can divide by 5 for both sides. So you divide each term or both sides by 5. Yes. So 1 over 5x. All right. If I divide each term by 5, that's what I would get. Plus 1 over 5. Right. So this would be y is equal to, I mean, if you want to write 5 here and then show it like this, that's fine. You're dividing each term by 5. So you get y is equal to minus 1 over 5. That's your coefficient of x plus 1 over 5. So here we know what the slope is now. The slope would be the coefficient of x, which is minus one fifth, and then the y-intercept, or known as b, is uh, one fifth. And this is uh, these are the information was asking us to find. We were supposed to find the slope and y-intercept. So every time you write the equation in y is equal to mx plus b then you can just look at the equation and find the slope and y-intercept. Does that make sense? Yes. 